Hello everyone and welcome to episode 115 of ASA, my Q&A series where I answer your questions. I got a new phone so if I sound different, hopefully better, that is why. But also I just wanted to say thank you all so very much for the support and the comments and the likes and everything just in the last episode of ASA. It means the world to me. I do genuinely enjoy making ASA episodes and when it gets lots of views and likes and comments and all that stuff, it just makes me extra happy. So yeah! Now let's get into today's question starting with Crimson toaster and he says asa what's your biggest gripe with lego star wars i'm gonna have to go with just the absolute ugly and disgusting newest lego star wars stormtrooper helmet i just i cannot stand that helmet it is so ugly lego's been using it since i believe 2019 now i like to call it the fat head a lot of people say that it looks like the family guy stormtrooper which i totally agree as well it's just ugly though i do not like it and i hope lego gets rid of it someday soon because i don't like it <laughs> Next question is from TG Collects. ASA, have you ever been to a Lego convention? No. Sadly, I have not, but maybe someday. Next question is from Brick Collection 1. ASA, would you rather eat only potatoes forever or never eat potatoes again? That is a very tough question, but I think I'm going to go with never eat potatoes again. Because even though I love potatoes and potatoes are cool and all that, I much rather still be able to eat like chicken sandwiches and pizza and all that stuff, you know? But the beauty of that is also then I could still, you know, look at potatoes and be like, dang, that's a fine potato. Because I do look at potatoes and think, oh, wow. Wow, that's a beautiful potato. Freak. Next question is from Brickett Studios ASA. What is your favorite Lego Star Wars UCS set? I'm gonna have to go with the UCS ATAT. -AT. Sadly, I do not own that set and I don't know if I ever will. I'm actually thinking about buying it even though it's kind of expensive. I gotta get that set someday. It's so just absolutely fan freaking tastic. I pretty much only have until the end of this year to get it, so I might do so. I might pull the trigger. Maybe I'll wait until like May 4th so I can get like double VIP points on it or something. I gotta get it. It's just, it's fantastic. It's beautiful. I love it. I love ATATs just in general, so like, of course, I gotta get it. It's awesome. Can I take that dog? Next question is from Mne. ASA, are you annoyed by the Pedro Pascal apocalypse since he's everywhere? And then some potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. To be completely honest with you, I'm not really annoyed by that at all because, you know, he's an actor and he's getting acting roles. So isn't that a good thing, you know? So I'm like, good for him. Maybe it's a little annoying, but also it's like one of those things where I'm not watching every single thing he's in. So I barely see him in anything actually. Star Wars is pretty much the only thing that I've ever watched that he's in. And then I guess the Fantastic Four movie when that comes out. Next question is from Scott Davis. ASA, do you think the spice from Arcus, I don't know if I said that right, from Dune would taste good with potatoes and then some potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. To be completely honest with you, I've never watched any of the Dune movies. I've never read any of the books or anything. So I have no idea what that spice even would look like or taste like, but I'm going to guess just because that it probably would because i would argue like most things taste good with potatoes right like if it kind of tastes like salty or spicy on potatoes like that'd be kind of good and the last question is from b brick abel asa what is the best lego star wars box art timeline with the greatest sets that is a very tough question to answer because box art doesn't really matter at the end of the day because it's about what's inside that's what you buy the set for right like does anyone actually ever buy a lego set just for the box and throw the lego away no i really like and i i guess i'm kind of cheating here because this is like spanned out from multiple years so basically from 2019 to now but i really like the lego box arts that have the just random scattered pieces everywhere it doesn't matter what color like the white or the black or the most recent kind of like chrome looking blue metallic color i just love that just random just those pieces pieces everywhere it just looks so good basically i'm gonna go with the last like five years is that allowed probably not but that's what i'm going with so those are all the questions for today's episode of asa so thank you all very much for watching thank you for leaving your questions if you have a question or two for the next episode leave it down below leave a like while you're down there it helps out a lot also i'm kind of close but not really to 900 subscribers so if you like my channel and you're not subbed for some reason you know what to do i would greatly appreciate that no. Please?
Now, please. Now, please. Last thing I want to say is if you want to watch some more content from me, I recently did a short review on the Millennium Falcon. So you can check that out in the cards. And I got some other short reviews that I've done. If that sounds like something you want to check out, then yeah. But anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode. Have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.